All right, we want to find the limit of this function as x approaches 1. <laughs> so starting off here, moving up. So breaking this down, um, limit as x approaches 1 of the sine of x minus 1. And then breaking this down to x minus 2, or excuse me, x plus 2, and then x minus 1. Then further limit as x approaches one, one over x plus two, and then um, limit as x approaches one for sine of x minus one over x minus one. So this actually works out pretty nice for us. So as x approaches one, um, the left portion becomes one third, and this portion here follows the same trend of like sine of theta over theta and that becomes one so this becomes one third overall and that's it